Right, the next item on the no lollipopping board is the wall squat. Now I just have written up a three by five that you can do any, any sets and reps. Um, before a workout, this is great, just warm up. Uh, it's a chance to work on the mechanical motion of the squat. Adding the wall element in uh, really kind of forces that upright posture, forces you to identify the parts of your squat that you need to work on. Everybody's a little unique, so it's not like it fixes one thing. Um, it's gonna fix whatever part of you is broken, at least help you figure out what that is. Proper execution, you are gonna start with your feet touching the wall, not an inch off the wall, not half an inch off the wall, touching the wall. Your legs should be about shoulder width apart. You're gonna face the wall, nose touches the wall. You are then gonna squat slowly and under control until you get to the point where you're starting to lose your balance and then stand up. That's one. The next rep, try to go a little bit lower. Step down. Try to hold and then come up. If you squat down and you kind of fall away from the wall, that's okay as long as you're actively trying to stay on the wall. That's all right. That's a good rep, all right? Again, we're just trying to work on it. I like doing this in small sets because uh, the first set, you're gonna be a little bit tighter. Uh, and as you get better at the drill, you'll be able to squat a little bit deeper. Um, again, this is just putting mechanical work into your squat.